Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today we are tackling a topic that's been buzzing in the Facebook community. The top user error with the YOLO box. Now I know many of you have reached out, frustrated, thinking this might be a bug. But what if I told you this is not a product that's at a fault, but perhaps, just maybe, the way it's being used? That's right, after diving into the group posts and speaking with our supporters, we've discovered that this common error is often a result of a few simple missteps in the setup process or during usage. And don't worry, we've all been there. Technology can be tricky, but that's why we are here to help. In today's video, we'll break down why you might be facing uh, this area or more importantly, how to fix it. We'll guide you through step by step, ensuring that by the end of this video, you'll be the pro of our products, ready to stream like the never before. All right, let's dive into the first of our top 10 user errors with YOLO box. They're all too common can stream to Facebook and YouTube accounts issue. Many of you have expressed your frustration with this, and today we are going to clear things up and get your streaming smoothly. This could be many reasons for the situation. For instance, it might be your first time live streaming and you want to link your account, or perhaps an account you added previously has expired that needs to be reconnected. However, no matter why you can stream, the solution is the same. That is, go to YOLOcast and relink your account. First, go to YOLOcast and log in the account that you use for your YOLO box. Then find destination and click add platform. And you can just click reconnect if you added your accounts before. Finally, go back to your YOLO box and go live. Let's move to the second one, why I can't stream to Facebook pages. First things first, let's understand why this problem occurs. This issue often concerns permissions and settings within your Facebook account, not the Yellow Box itself. Facebook has specific requirements for live streaming, especially regarding pages. To successfully stream to a Facebook page, you must ensure that your Facebook account connects with your YOLO box as the admin of the page you want to stream. Without this, YOLO box won't be able to push your live stream to the page. To verify your permission for a Facebook page, you can take the following actions. Open Facebook and look on the left side of the pages directly to see if the page you want to add is displayed. If it's not listed, it indicates that you need a page owner to permit you. The page owner should navigate through the following sequence to add permissions. Facebook page, settings, new page experience, page access, people with Facebook access, add new. Sometimes you might not be able to add your account as an admin to a Facebook page. In such cases, you can first invite a friend or another account to become an admin. Then have them invite you. Moving on to another common hiccup many of you have encountered. No audio from the yellow box issue. One of the primary reasons for no audio output is not turning on the channel you are using for audio. Yes, it might sound simple, but it's an easy detail to overlook, especially if you are a newbie or managing multiple video sources. Let's dive in and show you exactly what to check. Let's navigate to audio mixer on your YOLO box. You can see YOLO box features an intuitive audio mixer interface, allowing to control the audio level of each video source independently. This flexibility is fantastic for managing complex streams, but also means one muted sources can silence your entire stream. Also, there's a feature that many users neglect, AFV, audio follows video. This feature will meet your needs if you want to switch smoothly between multiple video sources with a separate audio. 
Let's move on to another common issue many of you have faced. Why I can't get a clean HDMI out? It's crucial for those of you who are looking to output your live production to an external monitor or recording device. Let's fix that right now. The key to solving the problem lies in a very simple setting within your yellow box, the program out feature. Program out is designed to send a clean feed of your live production to an HDMI out. However, if it's not enabled, you end up seeing everything that's on your yellow box screen, including the toolbars and menus. To enable program out, start by tapping into your yellow box setting. Navigate to your video out settings, and here you'll find a program out option. Simply toggle it on, and you now have a clean HDMI feed. Now let's check a common challenge many users face can stream to multiple destinations simultaneously. It's a powerful feature on the YOLO box that can amplify your reach, allowing to broadcast across various platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch at the same time. But what if you can't seem to get it working? The secret to unlocking this ability is known as a using YOLO Live multi-streaming service. Without enabling this mode, your YOLO bus will be restricted to streaming to a single platform at a time, which is a common oversight. To activate multi-stream mode, head over to your YOLO box settings. Look for the streaming mode, and there you will find the multi-streaming mode. Simply switch it on and you'll open up the ability to stream for multiple destinations. It's that easy. Next up, let's address a concern that stops your live streaming before it even starts. Charging issues with your YOLO box. Whether you are using the original YOLO box, the Pro, the Mini, or the Ultra, understanding the correct way to charge your device is uh, crucial. Firstly, it's important to know that the Yolo Bus OG, Pro, and the Mini models are designed to work with a standard 15-watt charger. And it's a, a key point that they do not support a fast charging. Using a fast charger with these models won't speed up the process and could potentially cause issues. On the other hand, Yolo Box Ultra, with its larger battery capacity, requires a bit more juice. For the Ultra, you'll need a charger that can deliver 45 watt or more. If you want to power up efficiently, you can also use a PD charger. Another vital tip involves the cable. We include two types of cables with your YOLO box. A USB-C to USB-C cable, which is specifically for charging, and a USB-A to USB-C cable, intended for data transfer. Mixing these up is a common mistake. The USB-C to USB-C is your go-to for charging your device. Ever run into the issue where your YOLO box just doesn't recognize your SD card? But don't worry, we are here to troubleshoot this issue together. There are several potential reasons behind us, and we'll cover how to fix them. The type of SD card format you are using could be the corporate. For instance, the original YOLO box could recognize SD card formats formatted in FAT32 and that too for cards up to 128GB. However, the Pro Mini and the Ultra models are a bit more versatile, supporting FAT32 for cards up to 128GB, NTFS for cards up to 1TB, and X. FAT format. So the first step is to check if the SD card format aligns with your YOLO bus model's specifications. If your SD card format is uh, correct but the problem persists, consider reformatting the SD card. Remember, formatting will erase all data uh, on the card, so make sure to back up any important files beforehand. Reformatting can often resolve hidden issues that might be preventing the card from being recognized. Another simple but effective solution is to reinsert the SD card. Sometimes all it takes is a firm reconnection to get things working. If that doesn't work, try exiting and re-entering the live event on your YOLO box. This can refresh the system and potentially recognize the SD card. 
Have you ever wanted to delete a destination but just couldn't figure out how? Well, you're not alone. Let's solve this together and streamline your destination menu. The process to remove a stream destination is actually quite straightforward. Yes, it's a detail that can easily be missed. Inside the Yolobus destination menu, where you see the list of streaming endpoints, the secret lies in a simple gesture, swiping left on the destination you wish to remove. Once you swipe left on the destination you no longer need, you will see the delete option appear. Tap on it, the destination is removed from your list. A fantastic feature of the Yolo Box is its ability to bring guests into your live stream. But what if you find yourself unable to invite guests? A common reason for this issue is the, the allow participants to join setting is not being enabled. To resolve this, simply navigate to your toolbar. Look for the invite guest feature. Here you'll find the allow participants to join option. Make sure it's toggled on. This action opens the door for your guests to connect to your live stream seamlessly. Wrap up, and that wraps up our series on the top nine user errors with YOLO Box. We've covered a wide range of common issues, provided with you practical solutions to overcome them. We hope this guide not only helps you troubleshoot any problems you've been facing, but also empowers you to unlock the full potential of your YOLO Box. If you found this series helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't mix out any future content. And also don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of customers share their use cases. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep streaming and creating. This is Frank, take care, see you in the next video.